Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to convert an absolute knob or slider to a relative value using Bohm MIDI Translator Pro. The block diagram here shows how the project will be set up. On the left is a controller I'll be using. The slider puts out an absolute value ranging from 0 to 127. I will use MIDI Translator Pro to convert that value to relative values. A value of 1 will represent one movement higher or down on my slider, while a value of 127 will represent one movement lower or up on my slider. The global variables GA, GB, and GC will be used in the project. GA will track the incoming value. GB will be used to enable or disable the translation. I need to disable the translation temporarily while I'm recalibrating the slider. GC will be the output value of the timer, either a 1 for a positive movement or a 127 for a negative movement. A timer will be used to control how many times to output the given value. First I open my project and then I select my given input and output ports. Now I'm creating a translator just to document and initialize any global variables I'm using. I've skipped over some of the typing to shorten the video, however it will be provided with the project file. You'll be able to see all the comments and everything. Now I'll create a translator to handle the incoming value. The quickest way to get the input value you want is to turn on the capture feature of MIDI Translator Pro and just click the value of the incoming value that you're looking for. Let's go over an explanation of the rules. The first rule will bypass this translator if the value GB is set to a 1. We're going to later set up a translator to set GB to 1 so that we can disable this translator when needed. The second rule determines how many times we need to count the timer basically by taking the input, subtracting it from the last known position to determine how many times we need to step it. The third and fourth rule here determines the direction we moved so that we know whether to output a 1 or a 127. Finally, we need to make sure the timer always has a positive value, otherwise the timer will never fire. Now we need to determine the outgoing action. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a timer. And we're going to activate the timer. We'll give the timer a name. We'll make it repeat multiple times, QQ times. We'll give it no initial delay, but we'll give it a repeat delay of 20 milliseconds, which should be fairly small. Now we'll set up a timer translator. This will trigger when the timer fires and we'll actually put the output message. The incoming message is timer fader 1. We update the value of GA, which is the incoming encoder. Then the output goes to controller 11, channel 0, value GC. Next we set up another translator to calibrate the encoder. And again we're going to capture a MIDI message. In this case I'll capture the message from my button. Then I'll set the variable GB to whether the button is pressed or released. If you remember, GB was a variable we used to enable or disable the other translator. Now we'll go ahead and test it. Uh, if you can see, I'm pushing my slider up and down and the variables are changing. I'll take out the MIDI in so you can see it a little easier. Uh, if I push and hold my button while moving the slider, nothing happens, so I can calibrate it. When I release the button again and push the slider, the output continues. Thank you for watching today, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at www.bohm.com.